Hello everybody, this is Reversal bringing you yet again another Knights and Dragons video. In the last video I showed you guys a few uh, helpful tips to get you guys started. Um, this episode I'm gonna actually show you guys what it is like to actually buy a Dark Prince chest and the garbage that you're gonna get from it. I might be lucky this time but there's actually a special reason for me why I am going to do this. But I'm gonna talk to you guys about that later. Um, a little uh, a little update from the last uh, video, I actually got my very first training field already done. Um, currently I am in the consideration to do this quest, this combined um, fusion quest and this one too because um, that way I'll have my quest completed but on the other hand it's also conflicting with um, with the next training ground which I'm gonna get. And this is my alarm clock, I need to do another um, arena fight so that way we can get things up and going um, so basically uh, my opponents got stronger and that probably has everything to do with the fact that I got a lot of arena points right now which I'm gonna show you in a second but I'm actually having more trouble right now um, finishing off these people so I needed to level up my armor at the same time I can show you I got like 60 k, uh, 16k points right now so that's currently about rank 3000, so which is actually a good thing really. So I'm um, going to show you guys my armors. We're um, Fusion Master. I'm still basically using the same armors, uh, but my Krius is level 20. And my uh, Atlantean armor level 15, my Hydra is also level 15. And my Living Flame is still level 10. And I should probably get it up to level 15. But I'm only going to do that once I'm capable of um, of getting the plus version. So I'm not going to do that quite yet. Um, the Kree's armor is almost leveled up. I will be focusing on that in this very episode. Um, the reason why I'm spending 20 gems on the Dark Prince chest is because this event tells me to spend 23 more gems for the next reward. And the next reward is a Spirit Fusion Boost armor which is actually very good to have because um, it will give you 150 experience each time you fuse it and with the current um, the, the current way I'm at right now this is probably the only way for me in these two upcoming days to get up to uh, 20 gems so um, I'm still I actually would have preferred to add 40 gems or 35 but I don't see myself get up to 40 or 35 gems anytime soon with the current quest that I'm having so this is the only way for me right now um, to get this reward because actually this reward is actually very nice nice and uh, the only way to get um, this reward right now so if you actually are in the in a way uh, if, if you actually have a reason to spend gems do so uh, but only for special occasions like these uh, that's the that's the real tip I can give you in, in regards of give, getting these so um, yeah let's open up uh, a Dark Prince chest and seriously I really hope I'm gonna get something good like a nemesis would be already great or a three star at least so hopefully we're gonna get something good I'm probably gonna be trash and it's a super rare this is a two star a brawler's armor um, I'll be using this just purely for fusion fusing purposes so uh, there's going to be a lot of 1 stars and a lot of 2 stars in the uh, Dark Prince chest and it's a waste of 20 gems really which is um, pretty much proven right now with what I was saying so um, yeah that's pretty much all I have to say about that now um, the last thing I wanted to talk about here is um, I kinda wanna take back what I said about the uh, about the boss it seems that if you're on a higher level uh, your rewards that you'll be getting in terms of money for the ranks that you're achieving will be higher than it is and I also think that if I am fighting glaciers with the uh, with the friends that I have uh, like I had two high level friends right I have a um, a guy here is level 139 and a level uh, level 322 guy and to be honest they didn't do that much damage that I did just like two or three times more but I think that's something to do with the fact that I'm still low level so I think it would be appropriate to get up to level 30 as well at the same time so you're really gonna have to push through the quests 
in order to get around this area over here which is still covered so I'll be doing that pretty soon I already unlocked the, the cold rocks crags I'm at the honor stage right now so I'll be doing that pretty soon now I need to spend three more gems in order to get this reward and I want to do that as soon as I can so um, what I'll be doing is I'm going to take a break in this recording and I'll be back once I'll be capable of spending this amount so I'll be right back and I'm back so I have actually decided what to use my gems on right now so that way we will be able to get this reward and then I'll be capable of showing you what fusion boost armor actually does to your leveling up for your armors now the one thing that I noticed is um, well first of all let's do this battle before everything runs out and um, I hope I can do this I can win this yeah this this is an easy this looks pretty easy to me so um, I actually have exactly enough gems for what I wanted to show you guys and I think I will be capable of showing you guys a 20 win streak in this very video so um, this is 10 streak which I usually get without spending any gems but right now I have exactly 9 gems and that's more than enough for what I want so I've spent 50 gems so um, we're gonna fuse these now um, unfortunately I do not have a spirit armor I'm gonna quickly set up my alarm clock um, I don't have a spirit armor but we got this brawler's armor but I'm not gonna use that I'm actually gonna use this on my cryer's armor because that one is the uh, furthest one ahead now actually I'm gonna use this on this hydra hunter mill no the cryer's armor is better um, I'm gonna use the spirit fusion all three of them and they're gonna give me 450 experience in total and let me tell you, it transformed, that is very awesome. So that means it's level 25 and up. But man, look at this. It's 450 experience brought me from level 20 to 34, which is amazing. So this way I'm 100% sure, that that's why I did it first. So this way I'm like 100% sure that, that I'm actually going to win every single battle in the arena. And I'm actually afraid, not afraid at all, to fight anyone. So here's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove Every one, and I'm gonna switch to uh, Zephyr first, and then we're gonna go with um, Squirtle and then Reversal, and um, I'm gonna switch the equipment to the uh, to Kree's armor. Oh, Zephyr can only wear that. Um, we can quickly fix that actually. You're going to change into what do you have? You actually got nothing. Hmm. Change to the Atlantean armor, and then you're gonna change to the. Where is it? Where is the Krius? There's the Krius! And Squirtle needs to change to something else, but he cannot do that, so I'm gonna have to switch it up even more. Uh, how about we put Ash there and Reversal here? That's okay as well. So as you can see, every single battle is gonna be easy now with uh, Reversal being all that strong and everything. And, um,. And uh, I think it's actually going to take uh, a long time for me to uh, do every single battle. So how about I'll meet you guys when I'm done with all of them. So see you in a bit. Okay, so here we are. 19 win streak. I'm gonna battle one more guy. And so far I didn't really have any problems at all. Uh, a couple of times I've been at where my last guy was still alive. I was the only one who I didn't have any problems with that. So... Uh, should be fine and he's gonna want it and there we have 20 win streak it was actually pretty easy because especially because of this event and I haven't been uh, using any of the en uh, enchanted keys yet so as you can see there's no quest after the 20 win streak which is fine really I'm uh, quickly gonna collect my money and we're gonna open up some chests right now so let's see what we're gonna get Six of them. Now, hopefully, I'm gonna get a, another fusion boost armor, which is, would be really awesome. Uh, Mystic, fusion stone, some other stuff for crafting. Gems! Gems are always good. Something else, and that's actually nice. Wow! Oh wow! 15 gems! Oh, man. <laughs> 15 gems, really? <laughs> 
seriously got 15 gems, that's amazing. Okay, um, wow, that's just great. <laughs> I totally did not expect that to happen. So, um, yeah, what you guys are probably wondering about, like, um, how did my armors actually get up to the level which they are at right now? Um, there's actually an easy method to show you guys how I do that. And basically you go to Skeleton Top uh, for this. So I'm gonna take everybody out, except for Reversal. I'm gonna give, oh wait, I'm gonna have the same problem again. I wanna give Reversal the, um, the Krius, because my Krius is the strongest one, so the strongest guy should get the strongest one. And I always do this stage, and I'm gonna quickly fast forward. They only do a, li a little bit of damage to me. So that's the main reason why I do this stage specifically. Let me quickly gather that. You can only do one special hit here, so if you're in a guild and you are aiming for the um, most valuable player for a uh, badge for uh, special attacks, just farm in here. And I'm gonna quickly explain what you can actually achieve on this stage. You guys probably already know, but I'm just gonna quickly show you the special attack here so we can get the reward. And if we finish up Medusa over here, we are going to get Snakeskin Leather Armor. It, it's used to you, you craft a uh, rare earth and water element armor. And I leveled it, that's awesome. So if we go to the armor, you see over here that um, the Atlantean armor, it, you need 8 Typhoon gems for those. But it it's going to cost you... 6,000 gold. Now, the same thing is required for the snakeskin uh, leather uh, strips, but they only cost 3,000. So, if you don't really care all that much for money, this is the way to gradually increase the levels of your uh, equipment. Um, there are other ways. Another way would be to uh, get a bunch of fire armors and then uh, fuse them or combine them. Oh, into uh, let's say, uh, let's say into a mystic, and that way you'll be capable of, of getting it up to like level five or something, and then fuse that into the good armors. Uh, that way you can save up money too. But to be honest, I feel the snakeskin armor farming it, it doesn't really take all that much of a time. The only issue is that it sometimes also drops stone slabs, which is actually quite annoying. Um, from what I know, uh, the higher the stage, the, the higher the chance of you getting a snakeskin uh, strap. So, you might want to take that into consideration. Uh, the little message that I have, I actually got invited to a guild. Um, but I think I'm not actually going to join these guys, unfortunately. Um, there's one strong guy over, over here, and we're actually going to send in a friend request. But I am actually willing to join in... A different guild and um, I actually already talked to a friend of mine um, about joining his guild because I used to be in that guild with my old account as well and he agreed with me joining in so that's actually very nice to have um, I'm actually gonna see how much damage I'll be capable of doing on uh, on the boss over here so we're gonna have Squirtle out Zephyr and um, we're actually gonna change this equipment uh, Zephyr Hold up, Zephyr is going to use the Atlantean armor, Squirtle is going to change to the Hydra, and I'm going to change to the Cryos armor. And I want to be last, so that way, I cannot use my friends anymore, but that's okay. This is just to check how well we're going to do. And he's only level, this is only level 10, so I don't know what's wrong, but usually you should be capable of beating him earlier. But I think it has everything to do with the fact that uh, I'm not high level yet. I'm only level 20. So it's going to be hard for me to actually, you know, maintain the amount of damage that he's giving. Also, along the fact that your knights are going to level up gradually with you as well. And the followers, as the other knights are called, are going to be leveled up. So if you hire your friends, they actually basically become a knight of your own. You, you can do, just use for one battle. So if you actually, so sorry for jump it again. So if these other knights are, um, if if you're a higher level, like let's say level thirty, 
the friends that you're hiring are gonna be stronger as well but their strength will be multiplied by a lot because they are way stronger than you are so that's just uh, I'll be focusing on that later and to be honest currently it still has three days to go I'm not sure if I'll be capable of getting the armor of glaciers because I'm I'm not that high up yet, yet, I'm only level 21, and I think I need to be level 30 at least, but we'll see about that pretty soon. So I'm gonna end things up here, it was a very, very packed episode, um, and I hopefully you guys got some great tips out of this. Uh, the next episode is actually going to be something like progression related and guild related, so stay tuned for that. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.